For this question, we are asked to complete the table below, identifying a different tool or process that is typically used to carry out the tasks listed when using paper or card. We are told that an example has been completed for you. We can also see in the bottom right hand corner that the total marks available for this question are six. Equally, there are six boxes A, B, C, D, E, F, which we need to complete. Therefore, we can assume that we will be awarded one mark for each correct answer per box. Let's take a look at the example to begin. So, we can see that the task for the example is cutting or scoring card. The tool which has been named in the example is scissors. So, we can see that our answer is just asking us to identify the tool or process. We do not need to talk about how the process or tool is used. It is merely identification of the tool or process that we are required to write in the box. We must, however, ensure that the tool or process that we write is typical. It is something that often occurs and is known to be used with paper and card as the material area. If the tool or process you identify is not typical of use with paper or card, then no marks will be awarded. Using my knowledge of paper and card products, I'm trying to recall an item or a product where this task would have been completed. I am thinking that for ticket stubs and for raffle tickets, you may well need a row of small holes in the paper so that somebody can tear off one part of it. This would be done using a perforation cutter. The next task that we are asked to consider is how we would make straight cuts in large pieces of card. This would generally be a guillotine or maybe a rotary cutter, which you will commonly use in school. Cutting out a complicated 2D net from card when a large quantity is needed would be the job of a die cutter. Cutting a small circle in thin card is something that I'm sure you have done before. And I'm sure you know that the tool that you would have used to do this would have been a craft knife. In addition to the term craft knife, the examiners here would have also accepted scalpel, circle cutter or compass cutter. E asks us to identify the tool required for using a stencil and ink to apply a design to a one-off banner. This would be screen printing. And finally, to achieve our sixth mark, we're asked to identify the tool or process when printing large quantities of magazines using multiple colours. This is offset lithography. This is a lovely question where you can easily pick up six marks without too much work. Just make sure that you never leave any of the boxes free and that even if you are unsure, you write an educated guess, recalling processes and tools that you have previously used within your learning. This will help you to achieve the six marks which are available for this question.